What is up, guys? We are back working on the 240Z. As you can see, I stripped everything off of the engine. Pretty much made it naked, removed all the wiring harness off of it, removed the intake manifold, the uh, exhaust manifold placed over there. Um, so that way, um, I won't struggle with it so much getting in between the frame rails there. So we can just slide it on under there. You can see we already removed the bumper, removed the lower air dam, removed the hood. Uh, just to, you know, obviously prevent it from getting damaged because I'm pretty sure throughout this build, sometimes we are probably going to experience some mishaps, like always. So we're just trying to minimize that as much as possible. So um, as far as this goes, once I have it up to where I believe we're going to plan it, um, probably pretty much wherever the center of the transmission shifter is going to be, that's pretty much where it's going to be set. And then I'm going to see what I'm going to have to do about making motor mounts for this. Um, also, the alternator bracket right here. Um, I believe it should fit in between the rail, but I, I don't like it. It's it's pretty pretty hideous just to hold an alternator. So they do make um, a low profile uh, alternator bracket that pretty much hugs the block a lot more. I'm probably gonna wind up getting one of those. Um, I'm not gonna need the power steering pump. Uh, I do have the AC option. Maybe one day I will put AC, but um, just for now, probably not. So, yeah, I just want to make sure that everything everything's going to clear in between there. Make sure we have enough room for our, to service our oil filter, or if I need to have a relocation kit or something. But other than that, um, that's where we're at right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slide this on under here, and um, probably use the ATV jack and pick it up and put it under there. So. We're going to remove that steering shaft first completely. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So let's uh, go ahead and slide her on in there and uh, see what we're going to do. All right, guys, we went ahead and uh, slid the motor underneath, just like we said. Um, I put it up on an ATV jack just to kind of keep it level, exactly, you know, throwing the wood across there so I can get the, the factory um, slant on it. Um, this motor and transmission seems to fit really nice as far as the engine bay goes and also to where the uh transmission shifter is going to be it is um actually perfect the only issue the only actual issue that um i can see right now is that the engine does hang pretty low on this so i gotta see if we can bring the engine up a little bit higher um another Another issue is going to be the cross member because it will make contact with it. The oil pan sits, you know, almost dead center over here, the middle of the oil pan. It's pretty much lays across the rack. So I'm going to see if I am going to be able to actually just probably add spacers to the cross member, lower the cross member a little bit just so it goes under. But I, I kind of doubt that. So, oh, well. Okay, so my next plan here is to, like I said, uh, bring it up to the level that I need. And that is probably looking like I can't go up too much higher. Or I possibly can, actually. And then um, pretty much I'm going to make engine mounts. I have these uh, low-profile engine mounts right here that are, I believe they're going to work pretty good. Um, the factory engine mount is, is pretty tall. <laughs> Can't remember if I mentioned that last episode, but this is a factory Alteza. This is what the engine came with. You can see how tall it is. This one is damaged. The ones that I got are actually for an IS300. And um, I cannot find it right now. But, oh, there we are. We can see the, the IS300 is actually even taller than that. See the difference there. Uh, so if I want to have a cross members a little bit more tighter, a um, little bit hung up a little bit higher, I'm probably going to have to use these mounts. So that way I can just go from here down to there, come across underneath the engine, come back up and sit on the frame as well. So uh, let me go ahead and make uh, the adjustments I need. I need and the adjustments I need. And uh, get working on that. All right, guys. Uh, let me go ahead and bring you up to speed. Okay, we finally figured out what we're going to be doing about our 
uh, rack and pinion or our factory cross member and lower control arm. As you can see here, where we currently have it mounted, you can see it clears the beams motor perfectly. Uh, there's plenty of room. Does not make contact with the oil pan or also that bolt right here. But a couple, fit a couple papers in between there. See, we have access to our oil filter as well. I was afraid that we might have to relocate that or whatnot, but it looks like it's going to work out fine there. Okay, the only issue that we are facing right now, but it's not too big of an issue, is that our control arm is now forward more. Because as you can see here, we have our two bolts from where it originally mounted, and all we did was scoot it up to mount the front hole to the back hole of the cross member. Okay, but obviously we cannot run it like this 100% because it will obviously put the wheel too, too far forward. And uh, as in the wheel won't fit inside the well. So what we came up with is we are going to be making a bracket on this side and actually putting our lower control arm and mount it here, which will put it back in its factory position. Everything else should bolt into place. Uh, the sway bar, the tension rods, everything should be fine. Um, believe we are going to be using adjustable tension rods, so just in case we need to push it forward a little bit more. Um, and that's about it. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is the rack and pinion. The rack and pinion arms are going to be having to kind of scoot in inward a little bit. Probably, if anything, I don't know, maybe we can extend this if we need to, but I think we might be okay. So we'll see what happens when we get there so but uh coming up with that idea uh, pretty much sucked up a lot of our time um i'm gonna go ahead and end it here for tonight uh the z is pretty much the the build of the z is gonna be as as quick as possible uh, i don't want it to turn out like a big long year two year uh journey like the stereon was this is just gonna be a cruiser car once again uh, we're not going to be doing anything fancy. I'm going to try to get it to run on the factory ECU. Uh, we will be making it very nice and presentable as well. So, uh, but the, in the next uh, next video, we will concentrate on making our motor mounts. And uh, what we were going to be doing with that is using pretty much angle steel. And um, pretty much uh, make a cross member for the engine. Kind of like how um, I'm sorry, McKinney Motorsports makes the the cross members for the SR20s to install into these chassis as well. So yeah, angle iron, and then but we're gonna actually be using flat. Uh, we're gonna be using flat tube, flat yeah, three by three by one square tube, and um, gonna be pretty much built there. Go into the motor mount there, go across and connect and come back up like that. So, but yeah, uh, thanks for. Our, Watching guys, uh, thanks for sticking sticking in there with us. We are getting a lot of subscribers. We thank everybody for that. We're so excited to be working on on these cars and showing it to everybody, whether you like them or not, whether you like our ideas or not. But we do enjoy what we do. And don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comment you have below, or let your hate flow. <clears throat> uh, one more thing before I go is my... My shifter, okay, um, it does not have the shifter assembly. It will work with the factory uh, shifter assembly, so I don't need to get a relocator kit like they do in the A86s where they got to pretty much push the shifter up forward. This fits perfectly inside, but the only problem is I do not have a shifter assembly. I don't know if anyone who might be watching this might know where I can get that assembly from. Anywhere in the world, <laughs> we've already tried New Zealand with no luck. Um, so, yeah, just let me know in the comments below. All right, have a good night.